Hello everyone. In today's demo, we are going to show OpenVMS support for FastNAP on uh, P9500 and XP7 storage array. FastNAP is a traditional way of uh, taking a snapshot. The only difference is that uh, instead of doing a copy on write, here there is a copy after write. Once the write is done on the source volume, automatically the write gets replicated across to the destination volume. The setup that we are going to use is depicted in this picture over here. Uh, there is a primary volume which is called as a P wall and then, then there are associated uh, secondary volumes which are called as a S wall and there is an intermediate snapshot pool which is used for keeping the differential data. The primary volume is presented to OpenVMS host as DGA1414 and the secondary volume is presented to OpenVMS host as a DGA444 which acts like a snapshot volume and the snapshot pool needs to be pre-created uh, so that uh, that pool is used for keeping all the differential data when you cr when you actually split the pair so you can see we have logged in into openvms host which is running 8.4 this is a blade system uh, which is a two socket blade and we have this uh, dga1414 and dga444 devices uh, presented So if you do the show full of the DGA1414, you can see it's in uh, XP7 volume. And uh, this this is a source volume and we have mounted that device. So, and there's a DGA44 device, which is basically a snapshot device that's also coming from uh, XP7. But we haven't mounted it because it's it, it's, uh, it doesn't allow you to mount because uh, it's a snapshot volume. And uh, unless you, uh, you will see the procedure how to mount it later in the uh, demo. So what we will do is we'll copy some data into the primary volume, which is uh, acts like a par parent volume. Uh, it's around 12 MB of data gets copied. And then we'll show you once we create the snapshot uh, of that pair, the DGA4400 would, how, would, how the DGA4400 you can recover the data. So now we have logged in into XP7 array. So this is uh, this is the primary volume which had a unique identifier of uh, 1414, and you can see the the basic type of that uh, thing is called as basic. You can even have a thin provision volume as well. So this is the primary volume, and then there is a secondary volume that you need to create, which is of the provisioning type called as snapshot because the secondary volume needs to be of type snapshot if you want to create a fast snap and you need to associate the unit because if you want open VMS host to see it you basically have to an association of that so these two volumes is are the ones which you saw on open VMS host now if you want to create a snapshot you need to create a pair out of them and uh, when you create a pair actually there are options there is a fast snap option that you need to pick and then uh, you start adding the source volume which is nothing but the p wall that we created so dga1414 acts as a p wall and then as i showed you in the picture we need to pick the snapshot pool as well because uh, for the differential data the snapshot pool needs to be identified and pre-created so we are picking the snapshot pool and then once the primary volume is picked actually we need to pick the secondary volume and the secondary volume is nothing but the snapshot uh, secondary volume that we created so we're going to pick that and then uh, go with the defaults and then uh, create this pair so once the creation of the pair is done, automatically you have set up the link uh, for copy after write. Any data that's got get copied to the primary volume automatically gets replicated to the secondary volume. So now if I want to start using the snapshot, right, what I need to do. So once the pair is created, it gets listed over here and the status you can note over here. So it says that it's paired. So when it is paired, actually, you cannot use the snapshot. That means there is a continuous replication going on and then uh, if you go and check the details of the status you can see that you know you have primary DGA1414 and DGA444 is acting as a snapshot volume you can create as many as snapshot volumes as you want and then start creating uh, or splitting the pair if you want to use the snapshot what we're going to do now is I want to use the snapshot or I want to restore the data from the snapshot I will split the pair and then uh, 
automatically what XPRA will do is that that snapshot data gets split and whatever data was actually copied till that time on the primary volume gets retained in that snapshot and uh, my snapshot volume becomes like a primary volume itself I can go ahead and now mount it So if I want to know uh, in what state it is, can I go and mount it or not? So there is a, there is a, there is a synchronous state that I can go and check. So if I click on that, it shows the synchronous state as 100% complete. That means the snapshot volume is fully synced. So I can now go back to my OpenVMS host, the DGA4400, which was a snapshot volume. I can just go ahead and mount it. So if I mount it, I can see my uh, data that I had copied on the primary volume which is like 12 MB that is retained on this volume. So this is how you create a snapshot volume and then uh, you can create as many as pairs you want. You can now go back and copy onto the primary volume and again uh, create a pair and then split the pair. So you can create like this uh, close to 1K snapshot uh, fast snap volumes from a primary volume. This concludes